This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the Lumetri Color Panel in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I show you how to add, change, and install LUTs. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to talk about a lookup table, a LUT. A LUT allows us to take footage. This is shot by a black magic camera, and it's shot relatively flat, which is to say that the blacks are washed out, the whole image is washed out. And that's intentional because it allows us much more flexibility in color grading. If you need to avoid color grading because you're doing news or sports work and the image has to look good right now, then you want to shoot in Rec. 709 so that it, the LUT is baked in and you don't have to go through a color grade assuming your camera is properly set up. But if you're shooting and you really want to manipulate the colors, you have the greatest flexibility by shooting in a, a log C or a raw format where we now have to go through a color grade. And LUTs are controlled from the basic color correction. When we have a LUT, notice that we've got, and I have several here that are not shipped with Premiere, it has built-in LUTs for Alexa cameras or Amira cameras or Airy cameras or Phantom cameras. But we can also add our own. For instance, I can say, let's use Arabica. Okay, notice how it's changed the entire look of that clip by remapping the colors that we shot to the lookup table, which affects the colors that we see. That's a little bit too coffee color for me. We could go chemical, which makes it look like it's drug-induced or cubicle. Or we could, uh, one that I like, I like tweed. Gives me much more of a look at how it's treated the sky. I see the, the, the sky, the clouds in the sky better. The wood feels richer. I'm going to stay with tweed. Now, how can I add LUTs? There's actually a ton of LUTs which are available for Premiere. We can add a temporary LUT or permanently install them in Premiere, and I'll show you how to do both. As I mentioned, there's a number of free LUTs available. For instance, Rocket Stock offers 35 free LUTs, and you can get it at this web address, rocketstock.com slash free after effects templates slash 35 free LUTs for color grading videos. These LUTs, which are a .cube extension, can work inside Premiere and Final Cut 10, DaVinci Resolve. LUTs work in a lot of different places, which means you're not locked into just using Premiere for your color grade. So I downloaded these LUTs, and I've stored them in a folder here. Notice there's the cube extension, and there's installation instructions on how to install them. If all I want to do is to apply a single lookup, for instance here, this is a shot from Blackmagic, I'm going to click on Input and say Browse. I'm going to go to my 35 free LUTs. I'm already in the folder. And let's pick, oh, let's do Pasadena and click Open. I've now applied that Pasadena LUT specifically to this clip. It'll travel wherever the clip goes, but it doesn't show up in my menu here. If I know that I want to use the same LUT over and over again, open up the Applications folder and open up Premiere and then control click on Premiere and say show package contents. This opens up all the different files that are inside Premiere. Premiere is not a single file, it's actually thousands of files. And you don't want to mess around inside here because you will break the app if you go in the wrong spot. But the right spot is, see this folder called Lumetri, Toilet Open. Notice the folder called LUTs, Toilet Open. Notice the folder called Technical, Toilet Open. Now, you generally want to change this when Premiere is quit. So you don't want to do this while Premiere is running because Premiere doesn't constantly monitor this folder. If there's a lot that you never expect to need, for instance, you don't own an Alexa camera, once Premiere is quit, you can select this, these LUTs and delete them. Or if you have LUTs, you can double-click the folder that contains the LUTs and just say, let's just add this LUT. And now we've added the Ava LUT to our Premiere file. Notice that, for instance, um, Cubicle is in that folder. Now when I go back to Premiere and go to the input LUT, there's Cubicle that's inside that folder. Notice that the one we just added, Ava, is not there because this list is built when Premiere starts up. It doesn't constantly monitor that folder to update, which is why you always want to quit Premiere whenever you're making changes to the LUT's technical folder.
So that's how we can install LUTs. We can download them, and all a LUT does is it changes how the colors that we shot are mapped to the colors that we see. It's very fast, works great, brews coffee, slices bread, tucks you in bed at night. How can you possibly complain about a LUT, except if you don't like the LUTs that are there? So now we have other choices. If you want to see a before and after, let me close the scopes just for a second. Close the scopes and show the source monitor. Type the letter F and notice there's the before in the source monitor. That's our master clip that's inside the project folder. And there's the clip after it. So you can do a quick compare and say, do I like the after or do I like the before? If you don't like the results you're getting, then you can go back and select here and say, I don't want that, let's just go back to none. And that easily you've taken the LUT out and your video is back to where it was. Easy to change. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the Lumetri color panel inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 229. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.